Hello guys here, welcome back to Ebenti Entertainment. This is your boy Ebenti, you know how we do and today we are here again with another video. As you guys know, we are on Easter day and um, when you come to Ghana, we have a place that we celebrate the Easter, mostly which is the place I grew up, which is Kweu. So today I'm taking you guys on a trip to that place and you guys are going to see everything on the way. You guys are going to see all the things that you have to see and i'll give you guys update of what goes, goes on, on there, there as well so just come along with me and let's go please if you are new here just do your boy Ebenti a favor subscribe to my channel like the video and share as well thank you Yesterday I went to um, I went to Medina to pick up at um, around 12 o'clock a.m. I couldn't get her. Yeah, but today I'm going to Circle. I'll pick it from Circle because Circle is better than Medina in my opinion. Yeah, so I'm waiting for car from here to um, your friend saying Circle. Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm taking you on a thrilling adventure from Saika Junction to Quill Mountain for the Easter celebration. Before we hit the road, we need to start from the beginning. I reside in East Legon, which is located near Saika Junction in Accra. To get to Quill Mountain, I need first to make my way to Seko, a bustling transportation hub in Accra. So I decided to take a throttle from Saika Junction to Seko. I walked to the nearest throttle station and hooked onto one heading towards circle. The throttle was already brimming with passengers and I squeezed into a seat by the window. As you know, today is Easter day and here in Ghana, the place to be for Easter celebration is Kuo Mountain. So I am taking you along with me on an exciting journey all the way from Accra to Kuo Mountain in the Eastern region. I live in East Legon, which is a vibrant and bustling neighborhood in Accra. To start my journey, I decided to take a throttle, which is a popular form of public transportation in Ghana. From my area to Circle, I packed my essentials, put on my adventure hat, and headed out. As I walked to the throttle station, I couldn't help but notice the hustle and bustle of the city around me. The streets were lined with vendors selling all sorts of goods, from colorful fabrics to fresh fruit and snacks. The sound of the car horns and chatter filled the air, creating a lively atmosphere. I reached the throttle station and hooped onto a throttle that was bound for circle. The throttle was packed with passengers, but I managed to find a seat by the windows. I settled in and eagerly looked out as the throttle hit the road, navigating through the busy street of Accra. After what I felt like a short but eventful ride, we arrived at Circle. The place was a ferry of activity with vehicles of all sizes and shapes jostling for space on the road. I made my way through the crowds, asking around and negotiating to find a car that was headed to Nkoko, the town near Bulk Mountain. Okay, so now I'm at Circle and um, I'm coming to pick up from here to um, Hill, which is um, I'll pick up from here to in Coco, and from there I'll pick a car from up to Yeah, so I'm at Circle as you guys can see at my back, and then you see that I'm around the station now. Yeah, so let's go. After some searching, I found a car that was going in the right direction. Um, I'm coming to pick in Coco car. Yeah, so I'm just standing around where the in Coco car is. So I'll keep you guys updated as we go. I quickly hopped in and greeted the driver and fellow passengers. The car started moving and I settled in for the next leg of my journey. I marveled at the changing landscapes from bustling urban area to the serene countryside. I 
Along the way, I took in the sight and sounds of Ghana's East Tin region, known for its lush greenery, rolling hills, and vibrant communities. I chatted with the locals and learned about their traditions and culture, which made the journey even more enriching. As we approached Nkoko, the excitement in the air was palpable. I could see the majestic Kwao Mountain in the distance, rising tall and proud against the sky. I we I can't be crying now. I'm not. What's going on? What's going on? Never be that. Never be that. Never be that. What's that? Never be that. Never be that. Never be that. Never be that. Ah, 
The car dropped me off in Koko and I thanked the driver and to say goodbye to my fellow passengers. With anticipation building, I couldn't wait to continue my adventure to Quail Mountain and experience the Easter celebrations firsthand. But that is the story for the next video, so be sure to stay tuned for more. Hello guys, you are welcome back. We are here at um, Nkoko Station and we just alight here. And um, I'm coming to pick up from here to the mountain. I just made a call and I realized that um, they said it's already raining on the mountain. Yeah, I'm going to give you guys updates until we get there. So let's go. Thank you. Hey guys, before we continue our journey to Kwao Mountain, I thought I would take out my trusty drone and show you the breathtaking view from Nkoko and also known as downtown by the locals since it's located at the base of Kwao Mountain. Get ready for some epic area shoot of this Tunian region. I unpacked my drone and prepared it for takeoff. With the camera rolling, I launched the drone into the sky and it quickly soared high above capturing the hour inspiring scenery below. The view from the drone was absolutely breathtaking. As I maneuvered it around, I could see the majestic Kwao Mountain in all its glory, with its rock peaks and lush greenery stretching as far as the eye could see. The Kwao Plateau, which I had only read about it in geography books, was a sight to behold. With its unique rock formation and valleys carved by centuries of erosion. I also captured stunning shoot of Nkoko town, nested in the base of the mountain. The town was a bustling hub of activity with its colorful buildings, busy streets and bustling marketplace. The locals were going about their daily activities and the drone's camera captured the vibrant culture and lively atmosphere of the place. As I continued to fry my drone, I was in aware of the natural beauty and rich cultural heritage of the Kwao region. It was a serene experience to see the landscape from above, and I couldn't help but feel grateful for the opportunity to capture these stunning visuals. After capturing enough footage, I carefully landed the drone and packed it up. I couldn't wait to review the footage later and share it with all of you in my vlog. It was truly exciting experience to see Kwao Mountain and Nkoko Town from the unique perspective of a drone. I couldn't wait to explore more of this beautiful region in person. With the drone shot captured, I was even more excited to continue our journey to Quail Mountain and experience the Easter celebrations firsthand. So without further ado, Let's hit the road and head towards our destination, Kwao Mountain. Hey guys, it looks like we might encounter some rain on our way to Kwao Mountain. According to the locals, it has been raining there almost every day for the past week. But hey, we are not going to let a little rain dampen our spirit, right? We are still going to make the most out of this adventure. As we drove further towards Kwao Mountain, we could see dark clouds looming overhead and a few drops of rain started to fall on our windshield. The lush green landscape around us seemed to be enjoying the rain with leaves glistening and flowers blooming. It was clear that the mountain was getting its fair share of the rain which could affect our plans for the day. We arrived at the base of Kwao Mountain and could see that the rain had made the route slightly slippery. However, we are determined to make it to the top and experience the star celebrations, which were known to be a highlight of the region. As we started our ascent, we noticed that the rain was becoming more intense and visibility was reduced. The misty clouds added a mysterious and eco vibe to the surroundings. We could hear the sound of raindrop hitting the roof of the car, but we were undeterred. We continue our journey taking caution and driving slowly to ensure our safety. We are right here at Impriso 
Korean price, so yeah, I am around Atibia, so um, I'll be leaving this place to Atibia. So let me show you at this moment it has rain, the whole place is um, wet. So maybe when I get home, I might come here or something, I don't know yet. I have to get home first, then I'll know what to do. Let's see where your friends are. Your friends are. Um, you're going to be a good parachute man. You're going to be a good parachute man. You're going to be a good parachute. Yo guys, I'm here on the mountain. Yo guys, I'm here on the mountain. I have just climbed the mountain, so I'm at Atibie. And you guys can see the traffic at my back. Very, very intense, intensive, you know. From here to Impraiso, from um, Atibio Hospital to Impraiso, or it's full of traffic, a lot of people on the way, and um, people are coming, so there are a lot of cars on the way. So, me particularly, we pass Obomi, we didn't pass in um, Atibio Road, we passed Obomi, and now that um, I have a light, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. So, just yes, if you are new here, just subscribe to my channel and like the video. And share as well. Thank you.